Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, you guys, we will be reviewing keto foods again, frozen keto foods. Today, we are going to be diving into Atkins. If you watched my last video, I did three reviews on Life Cuisine. They had some keto-approved frozen meal options for y'all. Now, I was gonna do Life Cuisine again because I thought they had a couple more frozen meals for me to review. They didn't have any more that were keto-approved. They only had a low carb lifestyle but even though they are low carb they weren't keto approved i thought i was gonna be able to review um the meat lovers pizza but just that pizza alone was 30 net carbs and yes that is low carb but it is not keto because you know when you are doing keto 20 net carbs a day is your goal and that just went way over but if you are just doing a low carb lifestyle you might want to look into those and see how they are i absolutely love their keto approved cheese pizza it was super good but that was all they really had was three options from what i saw at my store it might vary from store to store you might have different for options that are keto approved but just make sure to always read your labels and always look at the carb count because you might be going over your carb intake for the day but now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Atkins I know Atkins has a little bit more keto options that I saw so today we're going to be doing three of them these are just the ones that caught my eye and I got these are HEB they were they were four dollars and a couple of cents they were four dollars and 37 cents at my hb each um it might vary store to store but yeah i'm super excited that we're going to be reviewing these they look super good now remember before we jump into this review frozen meals you want to have in moderation you guys i know some people can't have frozen meals because of the sodium content and i will be telling y'all how much sodium is in each one but remember have in moderation frozen meals aren't something that you want to have every day it's just convenient when you are busy and you just want something quick and easy in the freezer if you had a long day at work just always have in moderation and you would definitely be a-okay but let's go ahead and dive into today's review okay so the three that i got today let's go ahead and start with the first one this is atkins cauliflower rice bowl low carb living it is a cheesy chicken risotto it has cauliflower rice white meat chicken bacon and vegetables in a creamy cheddar cheese sauce that sounds really good it's six net carbs and 26 grams of protein so here is the box Y'all can go ahead and take a look at it. I will be telling y'all the macros on this. So it is one serving size, which is the bowl. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, six net carbs. Duh, I'm over here counting. So it does have total carbs are nine. Dietary fiber is three. It has two grams of sugar, 26 grams of protein. And if y'all do want to know, the sodium is 870 mg of sodium, okay? Um yeah so you just subtract the total carbs and the total fibers to get your net carbs if you didn't know if you're new to keto so this is the first one and it looks really good i was seeing if they have anything else on the box so you do microwave these for three minutes um a couple minutes and then we'll see how it is but this one looks really good so this one was the first one i picked up the second one we got a chicken and broccoli alfredo because i love me some alfredo um this is their chicken and broccoli alfredo. It has grilled white meat chicken and broccoli and a Parmesan and Romano alfredo cheese sauce. Yum. Five net carbs, 25 grams of protein. This is the one, this one look, how it looks. I love me some chicken alfredo, so I'm hoping this one is really good. Serving size is one tray. Um, total carbs is 10. Dietary fiber is five. Two grams of sugar, 25 grams of protein, and sodium is 800 mg. So yeah, remember you always want to have in moderation, you guys, because sometimes, you know, the ingredients aren't the cleanest. They have a long list of ingredients, but like I said, moderation is key to these type of meals. You always want to try to make it homemade, but not everybody has the time. So this is the second one that we went ahead and picked up. The third one is a chili. I don't know, this one caught my attention. So this is a chili con carne. <laughs> I don't even speak Spanish, okay? It has ground beef with green and red bell peppers and tomatoes and a chili sauce topped with cheddar cheese. Doesn't that sound so good? I love me some chili, okay? Seven net carbs, 24 grams of protein. This is the way this one looks. Y'all let me know down in the comments below if y'all have tried any of these and which one is your favorite, okay? Total carbs is 11 grams. Dietary fiber is four. Sugars is four grams. Protein is 24 grams. Sodium is 780 
So yeah, I'm super excited to give these all a try, you guys. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so the first one we're gonna go in with is the cauliflower rice bowl, the chicken, the cheesy chicken risotto. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Okay, so this one comes in a little bow. Looks like a good serving size. So we're gonna go ahead and read the instructions again and follow it. So it says cut film to vent and we're gonna cook on high in the microwave for three minutes. Stir and replace the film and then cook on high again for one and a half to two minutes. Okay, so I got my little knife. I'm just gonna cut a little slit in the middle. Now this is gonna go in the microwave for three minutes and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, I had it in the microwave for three minutes and I would say the cheese sauce that it's in smells super good. It's a cheddar cheese sauce. But now we're gonna go ahead and peel back the film. You just wanna do it halfway because you're gonna recover it and give it a good stir. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> Look at that, okay? First impressions after three minutes. That cheese, it is cheesing, okay? That is a lot of cheese. And it has a good amount of like chicken in there, I see. But we're just gonna go ahead and give it a good stir. Stir it all up. You can see peas, you can see some bell peppers and carrots. Just like a little, um, it kind of looks like a pot pie, but it has cauliflower and rice, so it's a risotto, risotto replacement thing. But we're gonna go ahead and cover it back up. I'm gonna put it in there a minute and 30 seconds because my microwave is pretty strong, but it says a minute and 30 seconds to two minutes. It just depends. All right, so it's been in there another minute and 30 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and cover it. And it says to uncover it, give it a good mix, and then you gotta let it stand for one to two minutes to cool off. So, so far it looks really good. I think it looks super cheesy. Looks like it has a good amount of chicken in there with some vegetables and it smells really good. Hopefully these are well seasoned. The last ones, all they really needed was a little bit more salt, but hopefully we get a good amount of seasoning in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down and then we'll dig right in. All right, you guys, I went ahead and let it cool down. So remember, this is their cauliflower rice bowl, their cheesy chicken risotto. It has cauliflower rice, white meat chicken, bacon, I do smell the bacon. I was wondering what that smell was. Bacon and vegetables and a creamy cheddar sauce. So the vegetables, it looks like to me, are peas. It looks like bell peppers, honestly, and maybe some carrots. I do see the little pieces of bacon in there, so they're kind of like little squares of bacon. Now I would say, I guess this is a decent sized serving for like a quick lunch if you don't eat a lot, but I could probably devour this in like five minutes, but we'll see how it goes, okay? I don't know, it might fill you up. There is a good amount of cauliflower rice in there as well. All right, so I'm gonna get a piece of chicken, the cauliflower rice, peas, and I think, oh, well, it has carrots, and I think they do have little red bell peppers in there. So, it smells really good, but I have high hopes. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Okay. I love the chicken. This is really good flavor. Now, the last ones I tried to eat at salt, this is like perfectly seasoned. Does not eat need any extra salt. Maybe it's because the cheese is pretty salty and the bacon. But I love that it has good pieces of chicken in here. The cheese sauce is on point. It's so good. The cauliflower nice and tender you get a good amount of cauliflower in here love the little peas in there mm. and only six net carbs like this is a pretty good serving because you do get a good amount of chicken in here mm. i don't have a complaint like the texture doesn't bother me at least it's not like super runny it's just really cheesy mm. You know, I can't complain about anything because nothing is negative. Like the chicken is super good. There's not like hard pieces in there. I hate when that happens. So I give it a 10 out of 10 because I cannot find out one complaint. I think this is really good. Mm. Okay. 10 out of 10 for this one. Super good. If you love something cheesy, this is a really good bow. So y'all definitely give this one a try. I really enjoyed it. Like, I could sit here and eat this whole thing. It's like comforting. It's like a comfort food. It's kind of like a chicken pot pie in a way with cauliflower rice. Like, that's what it reminds me of. A chicken pot pie. It just has that home style taste to it. It's just 
really good. This is probably one of the best frozen meals that I have tried. I absolutely love this one. So I have high hopes for the other ones, but good job Atkins. I love this bowl. Okay, next one we are going to try is a chicken and broccoli Alfredo. Now, if that cheese sauce was good in the other meal, I expect our Alfredo sauce to be absolutely amazing. So we'll go ahead and give it a good open. This one comes in like a little square tray. Looks really good. I love that they put a good amount of chicken in all their meals. So you see that sauce in the middle of the chicken and the broccoli. So this one right here, it says to cut the film and put in the microwave for three minutes. So we're going to go ahead and give, give a little good slit in the middle again and in the microwave it goes. Okay you guys, I had it in the microwave for three minutes. Now it says to peel back the film, stir and replace the microwave for two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so after three minutes, this is what it looks like. Let me focus. It has that sauce in the middle. The broccoli looks like it already got tender and it has some good amount of chicken in there. But we're going to go ahead and give this a good stir. Ooh, that sauce smells good. This one looks a little bit more watery. So probably because from the broccoli. But I'm hoping after the second time and you let it cool down, it won't be so watery. But we're going to go ahead and cover it up and pop back in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, this is after another two minutes. Now we can go ahead and take off the film. And you want to let it cool down before we dig in. I would say it smells really good. It smells like Parmesan cheese. Their Alfredo sauce looks, it looks pretty good. It smells really good. And you get a good amount in here. A good amount of broccoli, a good amount of protein. It's like a good, um, well proportioned. So we're just going to go ahead and let this cool down. And we'll dig right in in a few minutes. All right, you guys, I let it cool down. I would say it smells really good. I feel like Atkins is probably going to hit that spot on like great seasoning and flavor. So again, this is the chicken and broccoli Alfredo. It has grilled white meat chicken and broccoli and a Parmesan and Romano Alfredo cheese sauce. You definitely smell that cheese coming through. Like it smells really good. So it did get less watery. It thickened up the more you let it cool down. I mixed it around. It has like, it does look like it has like a chopped chicken filet in here. Like it's a chicken filet and then it has the broccoli. It has a good amount of broccoli, but let's go ahead and dig in. Can you make this at home? Like I said in my other videos, yes, there is some of these meals that you can definitely make at home um, instead of buying it. But sometimes people just like convenience. A lot of people don't have time to sit down and make a whole meal. It's just easier to pop it in the microwave. So if you're someone that loves convenience, then these are going to be for you. But again, remember to have in moderation along your weight loss journey. But let's go ahead and dig in. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, sauce, everything is like well seasoned. I do not need to add any salt or anything. So again, sauce is really good, nice and creamy. It's not watery, it's nice and like thick. It has a great consistency. Definitely tastes like Parmesan and Romano cheese, delicious. Chicken, chicken is good. Just like another one. I love that they give you good pieces of chicken. Okay, broccoli. Nice and tender. You actually get good pieces of broccoli in here. It's not just like those hard end bits. It's so good. 10 out of 10. I don't know. I feel like Atkins, like their frozen meals are, are really good. Like their seasonings are on point. These are probably going to be my favorite. I don't know. We have a couple more to review. A couple different brands in keto frozen meals. But Atkins is up there. This is super good, you guys. Mmm, I have no complaints. Like, my kids will probably enjoy these. Like, this is so good. Mm. Am I gonna sit here and eat this? Yes. <laughs> y'all need to give this a try. So if y'all are a chicken Alfredo lover like me, I love me some chicken Alfredo. Definitely give this one a try. 10 out of 10. It's gonna be so hard to choose which one is my favorite meal. They are all awesome so far. So again, by Atkins Chicken and Broccoli Alfredo. 10 out of 10. If y'all give it a try, let me know what y'all think. Because right now, it's definitely hitting the spot. It's super good. Okay, we got one more that we are going to be reviewing for today. This is their chili con carne. Okay, so like a little chili bowl. We're going to go ahead and open it up. So this is kind of a different vibe than the other ones. The other ones are more like home style Italian type of things. This one, I mean, of course, it's like home style. It's chili, but... Let's see how this one tastes, how well it's seasoned. Looks like a good amount. Ooh, got some meat in there. Nice and hefty. So this one, 
It says cut film to bend, three minutes in the microwave. We're gonna put a little slit and in the microwave it goes. All right guys, I had it in the microwave for three minutes. I would say it smells absolutely delicious as all of them have. So now it says to stir and replace the film. So just like some homemade chili. Ooh, look at that. This one looks a little bit more on the greasier side. Like you can get a little messy, but what chili is it? Okay, we're gonna give it a good mix. It looks like it has some cheese in there. It looks like it has bell peppers, tomatoes. It has a good amount of meat in there as well. Like you get a good serving size, so that's awesome. Okay, give it a good stir, replace it, and back in the microwave for one minute. All right, after another minute. Ooh, it's nice and hot, you guys. This is boiling, but it smells really good. So now we need to give it a good mix. And of course, you got to let it cool down before we dig in. But I'm really excited about this one. I would say I wish they put a little bit more cheese in it. But I don't know. That's just me. I absolutely love cheese on chili. But we'll find out. Let's see how good it tastes. All right, you guys. I went ahead and let it cool down. And I would say it smells absolutely amazing. A little up close. You have a good amount of meat in there. You get the green and red, red bell peppers with the chunks of tomato. And it smells really, really good. Again, this is their chili con carne. Ground beef with green and red bell peppers and tomatoes in a chili sauce topped with cheddar cheese. I wish they put a little bit more cheddar cheese because it just like totally disappeared, but it's okay. Seven net carbs, 24 grams of protein. So I have high hopes because these have been absolutely amazing. I'm blown away with Atkins. They are super delicious. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. Okay, hold on, wait. You guys, oh my god. You know, I didn't know how good frozen meals can be. Like, this is really good. It has so much chili flavor in it. I love that they put a good amount of meat in there. Like, you don't just have little pieces. And it's not just, like, all the sauce. Like, you get the meat in there. You have the little red bell peppers. They're, like, the perfect size. It's perfectly seasoned. Now, if you like a lot of cheese in your chili like I do, you could just add extra cheese. But... It did melt in there. They did have some cheese on top. It kind of just mixed in. I do get like the little texture from the cheese. This is so good. Nice and seasoned. It is not overly salty. Like this will fill me right up. This is hitting the comfort spot. I absolutely love to make keto chili, but sometimes it's just for me. And it makes a lot. And sometimes I don't have the time even myself. And this is one chili that I would definitely buy for a quick chili if I really wanted it. Like, this is delicious, okay? Delicious. 10 out of 10. Like, oh my god. Like, Atkins is so good. And I'm excited to try the rest of the frozen meals that they have. Because this was just three that I picked. But if you are a chili lover and you miss chili, this is good. This is good for like a quick dinner, a quick lunch, whatever you want. Mmm really good the meat nice and soft i haven't had no little hard pieces i don't know i don't know i'm picky with meat i haven't had no little hard pieces in here they're like i don't even know what else to say okay some of the best frozen chili that i've ever tried give it a try if y'all happen to try this let me know what other kind of toppings you put you guys you can put some more cheese some sour cream just something quick and easy just to make it a little bit more filling so it's not just chili but even the spiciness to it, it has a kick to it, but it's not like overwhelming. It's just really good, you guys. Super good. All right, so now comes the time where I have to put my favorite in order. I don't know. I just like showing y'all which one I enjoyed the most. I would say this cheesy chicken ricotta was super good, and I literally ate the bowl, okay? That's how good it was. So I would say this was my number one. And then I have to put the chili because this chili was bomb it had great chili flavor like the spice was on point everything and then it's gonna have to be the chicken alfredo although the chicken alfredo is super good i don't know i guess it's just like a basic meal like you know chicken alfredo or broccoli but the sauce nicely seasoned all these meals were nicely seasoned the seasoning is on point they definitely hit it especially for frozen meals so if you've never tried atkins along your weight loss journey and you want something in moderation just something quick and easy I highly recommend Atkins frozen meals. They were amazing. 10 out of 10 for all of them. Absolutely delicious. And I will be reviewing the rest of them because um, 
I know they had a couple more keto meals that I definitely want to try. So in the next video, I would definitely try the rest of them. Comment down below if you would love to see that. And if you do happen to try Atkins for the first time, let me know what y'all think. But I really hope y'all enjoyed this review. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one.